What? You just said the S word. My fault. <laughs> it's okay. I don't really care that much. All right. You ready? Yeah. Boom. Back in here. Number one podcast in the Izzard. $20 million podcast. But honestly... We in the we in the J Bug headquarters. We in the Get Active Bro headquarters. So it's 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 like thirty million now. It's, I gotta up the price. You know what I mean? Call me J Bug Luther King. <sighs> you just had to bring something about that picture. I knew you was gonna do it. Um, thanks thanks for inviting me to your house. I, I, I like the hospitality. It's pretty nice in here. Yeah. Um. They say a house of man peace. Yeah. Yep. AC is definitely busting right now. <laughs> um, so this is the part two. Welcome back. Hey man, I said I'm fresh home. Shit, I feel oh, good. He said started. don't cuss, but I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just trying late. to be myself. Just it's okay, bro. <laughs> it's it's hard, bro. <laughs> come on, let's come on, let's keep it going. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna put my I'm gonna put, I'm not gonna put my drink on your carpet. I'm I'm a, I'm I'm be respectful, you know what I mean? Um So how's how's everything been? Just before before we get into everything, like as far as like lately, last couple of days, how's everything been? I really just been working on my mental health. And through working on my mental health, I saw the code for all of humanity. So like a code to life like what is it like an equation like it's like I found out through science through God through great character how to be yourself but through doing that I found a way how I found my own way of solving humanity what do you? What is wrong with humanity? Um, people just negative, and it's a lot of demons out here. And God didn't make the world like that. Okay, and uh, I'm following you. Proceed. I was in a psych ward for two weeks, battling against my will, trying to get out, trying to be better, trying to search for something. That was a key, a key to instinct, a key to survival, a key to mental health. And I found my own cure for my mental health. Okay, J Bug, J Bug, we're not ready to get into that. We got we to get into the, we can't, we can't, I, I, I don't want to get to that yet. I know, just, I'm just speaking, you know. You know. Yeah, I could tell. I could tell from the last time talking to you. I just feel like you went through, through definitely through. You would call some something that made because this is a whole. Feel like this is a whole different thinking. You know what I mean? Right. So let's more so talk about. You said you was in the psych ward. Yeah. What 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 was going around around then? What is going on? Um, dirty nurses, dirty police, dirty doctors. I mean, all this shit, this shit been going on for years, and I just went through that shit, and that shit made me a man. Shit made me use my brain. Can can you say the reason for you being there? Like, I basically let my anger get the best of me with the police, but I wasn't wrong, but I was wrong. Mm -hmm. Because I let my anger get the best of me, and that caused me to be put in handcuffs, it caused me to be put in a psych ward to be mentally evaluated. Mm -hmm. Now, now you saying that you saying that the, your mental health was tested and everything. Where do you think your mental health was during it? Like before that whole incident, you said you, you lost your anger. Like where do you think? Where was you was mentally at that time? What was going on? Um, I was going through manic depression due to stress my whole life. I mean, as a kid, I got bullied. I went through a lot of shit, like, that hurt me. And all I want to do is just be better to my community by showing people that you could get through in life with good character. And it's nothing wrong with being 
good. There's nothing wrong with being a good person. You ain't got to be a demon. There's no need. Just leave the environment. So can you walk me through the situation where you said you lost your temper with an officer? Like, what was going on? What night? What, what night? What, what was you doing that day? What was going on? I can't really disclose what really happened because I'd be incriminating people. But I basically got put in a predicament where police got involved and I kirked on the police and I woke up in a psych ward. Basically, that's what happened. Okay. Um, now... Well, tell me what's the first thought that you thought to yourself when you woke up that in that in that place? I was like, where the fuck am I? Like, where am I? Like, what's going on? What happened? Mm-hmm. Let me solve what went on. How did I get myself here? Who put me here? Why? I had a lot of questions. My questions turn to answers. Okay. So after you had that thought process, tell me tell me like what was your reaction to 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 the treatment that they was trying to give you? And I saw in your post you said it was like against your will. Yeah, would I you, was being what, held, I was being held against my will. What would you call being held against your will? Can you explain on that? Like how would you Um when you're eighteen and you have no reason to be arrested. The pol- if the police don't know or have no evidence of what you did, right, and you get put in confinement, you're there against your will. That's what that means. I was put somewhere I didn't want to be. Okay. Um, tell me... Tell me, how, how did you react when you first woke up and you started going through the process of being in that system? How did, you, how did everything react? Make- at first, I was, I was going through manic depression, so I'm yelling at everybody. I'm, I'm dragging, like, Baltimore in me when I first came in there. But I learned that in isolation, all that shit don't mean shit. Like, all that tough shit go out the window when you're in isolation. Like, you know what you got to use when you're in there? Your brain, like you really got to use your brain to get out of situations like that. Like you got to really think because once you put in a psych ward, nigga, they can keep you as long as they want to. Mm-hmm. The longer you act out, the longer they, them days going to be. I, explain to me, like when you said you woke up and you first realized you was in a psych ward, like tell me what, what tell me like what the things that you first noticed, like what was around the room? Where would you were you in like did you thought you was in prison like thought uh, you was in I woke up with a lunch box in front of me laying in a psychiatric room created to reduce stress levels and bodily human activity. You was in one of them rooms? Hell yeah. I woke up in one of them. Oh shit. What did it smell like in there? It's just a lot of rubber. It was just, it was just basically like a, it was like a, a placement for yeah. mentally disabled people. And te- being that I'm technically mentally disabled, being that I'm bipolar, mm-hmm. I was around mentally disabled people who didn't know how to be themselves. Okay. And it was a weird environment for me because I seen shit, like nasty shit, like shit that I don't even want to talk about, but... What you mean? You can't even give me like... Well, like, I seen a nigga in there on the ground doing some shit. Nigga, that shit... Nigga, that shit scarred me for life. I don't even want to say what he did, but he was doing some shit on the floor that no man should see. You said he was throwing shit? What was he throwing? I don't even want to talk about it. Next question. Okay. So, they had you in... What was in the lunchbox? A dirty-ass sandwich I ain't want. Did you eat it? Hell no. What else was in there? Uh, Any juice? Uh, yeah, it was apple juice. I drank the apple juice. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sorry, that's not I your ate time the crackers. <laughs> <laughs> and nigga, I sat there to dinner time, nigga. And that's when they brought me a burger and fries. And I was like, oh yeah, now you niggas talking. Was it hitting? Yeah, it was hospital food. Jeez. When you get put in a psychiatric environment, they don't feed you jail food. You get fed like good. real good food. You had ketchup and shit? Hell yeah, I had <laughs> all that shit. I had barbecue sauce, nigga. I had. Nigga, I think they gave me a soda too. I think I had a Pepsi. <laughs> nigga, they had you drinking Pepsi in there? Yeah. Shit. Now, walk me through that video that you posted. Basically, I was put in a hospital. I can't say why. I was put in a hospital. I didn't want to do a COVID test. Is this like is this like a like a, a legal thing? Why? I didn't. The as far as we know, I didn't do shit. The police didn't know what I did. They, I didn't okay. do nothing. I believe you. I believe you. Yeah. Now, do you want to like? So you you, you don't even want to talk about what was happening that night? What they trying to? What they allegedly trying to say you doing? They allegedly said I hit somebody. I don't know what they talking about. Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't know nothing. I allegedly hit somebody. That's the easiest crime to get a nigga in jail, bro. And you don't even gotta have no evidence, nothing. So I feel you. Mm-hmm. I feel you. So walk me through. Walk me through, like, you said you, you told me your first thoughts about how you was in there. You told me about what it looked like, where they had you at. God damn, I thought that was only in the movies. That's a real shit? No, nah, that's real shit. You ain't have a straight jacket on? Or they put you No, nah, they ain't put me. I wasn't that crazy. They had to put me in a straight jacket if I had a Kirk. That's what, when you, they elite, like, it depends on how crazy you is. Like, they got professionals in there to evaluate mental health. So once they saying that I was just a kid and I ain't really was saying shit, I was chilling. They just sent me to a temporary psych ward, which is way different from a psych ward, but it's still a psych ward. And it's fucking still politics, still still shit going on, still got to think with your brain, still dirty people in there. You just got to learn how to finesse your way out. And I finesse my way out. Okay. By being smart. And while I was in there, I wrote a lot. Like music? Not really music. Just your thoughts? My thoughts on life and my life, and I connected. That's worth a billion dollars to me. It's worth a billion. So let's talk about the project then. Blame it on me. Blame it all on me. I, I named that. That was actually a cover that I made, that I got made years ago that I never used, but... So why you why you why did you post for niggas to send you something if you was gonna use something to you? Because I forgot I had it, but then How many people sent you something? Mm, I got one I got one thing, but it wasn't what I wanted. I got people sent me shit, but I what it was like two things, but I didn't it wasn't what I wanted. It didn't look good. It was it looked cool. I mean, it was fan art, but it's not what I wanted. Yeah, you releasing the album at the end of the day, EP at the end of the day. Yeah, so it gotta be something. Yeah, but okay. I had something content like that really meant something to me with the cross. That's that symbolized God. My face so serious. That's how what, how has God impacted you since this whole? God got me out the psych ward because God was in my brain, right, telling me to write down shit for humanity. Okay. And I'm going to say one thing. I'm going to just say one thing. For all humans to be great again, we shall mimic Martin Luther King's legacy and turn this evil world neutral again by creating positive energy. Every human must understand every 13 aspects of life to unlock your real human abilities. I, Jalen Hargrove, son of Adam and great-grandson of Jesus, swear to put nothing but great energy to the people to make the world neutral again. Yo, <laughs> yeah, the sip is drink. Can I buy you a drink? I can't, I can't, I can't express enough how, how on the outside people might have, 
people no not might people do have a, a perception of you but from the two times just me meeting and talking to you just to see what you're thinking about like you you you're you're a, wise, you're a wise person always play dumber than you muck that's just all I gotta say play dumber than you muck blame it all on me who's blaming you for this I'm not blaming you for anything everybody like it's what am me. I blaming you for not you I mean, I'm everybody everybody like Everybody in my life okay. got a different thing they want to say about me. Like, that's why I, that's why I felt like blaming it all, blame it all on me was the right thing because, I mean, I didn't blame my whole life for shit. Hey, us as us niggas, niggas, yes, no cap. I, that's why I'm saying like I can I can relate to that title. You know what I mean? So I definitely you know I had to double click that. I had to double click that honesty song, and that shit you just and that shit hard, bro. Honesty is. It's, it's, it's my shit Not gonna lie Yeah It's probably my top shit Off the shits Mm-hmm Period Right Like tell me the process You making it What was your goal I was just in a studio Speaking my life Mm-hmm And I think that's the song I'm gonna run with Run with it nigga Just run it You I, you already I'm not I don't gotta know I, What the fuck I look like Telling you advice You know what I mean <laughs> So just run it up You got it We gonna run that shit up Call me J-Bug Luther King. I don't know about that. You like fucking white women? Mm-mm. I got a girlfriend. So you can't be Dr. King? Because that's what he did. No. I'm Dr. King. I got his soul. I ain't got that, though. I ain't I ain't no cheating ass Somebody's nigga. Somebody's calling you. I don't be you. no cheating ass nigga. I don't got nothing to say to that nigga. Before, before we go any further, shout out to the nigga that run the parking lot around here. Because... I don't have to pay for parking. And that's fifteen dollars in my pocket. Yeah, yeah. That's when you walk in the yeah nigga. I should have been yeah, like nigga. I should have been like, yeah, yeah I'm going to see J Bug. Like I should have said that. <laughs> mm-hmm. How do you feel about the project? I think that shit gonna go crazy. When I when I um when I finish promoting it, like I feel like that shit going it's already doing good. Already did damn near 10,000 plays in the first week. That shit brazy. Brazy. And I ain't even, and I ain't even dropped no music video. It's just all fans. Like, I know. I know. So I, so, so me just saying that, it's like, damn, time to make it go. Time mm-hmm. to make this bitch go. Time to make that bitch go. It's did, time to go. How far do you think your reach is now compared to how far you want your reach to be? I feel like, a lot of people know me, but they don't know me for the music. But they know me for the music, like one on one, seventy thousand views. You feel I me? Mean? Like, yeah. I feel like that shit brazy. My music need to be talked about more, but that shit about to change. When I post this shit, when this shit get posted, this shit gonna change. What What is gonna change? Humanity. Oh shit, J Bug. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't even percept. When you say humanity Like what do you mean What are you trying to do To humanity I want to change The way people think About what Positivity Hmm. I like that message So how How would you feel To the people That listen to your music I want people To understand That everything I say Is real And I never lie And I never wrote Nothing down Everything came from my heart Damn nigga I thought you was Going to say the opposite Listen, words from Wine Sosa. Remain true to the game and never change. I don't know if that's the how he said it, but that's how I got it in my brain. Mm-hmm. That's how it, it sound good. Yeah. Sound good. Yeah. Blaze Chris, how you doing? It's good. It's good to see you again. Shit, I'm feeling great. I'm more, I feel like I'm more mature in the mind, mm-hmm. more calm. Yes, I feel good. Why, when I texted you, why did my bubble turn green and it say not delivered? I got a new number. How am I supposed to know that? Hey, you get it when you leave. Hey, shut up. Thank you. I'm down. For all humans to be created again, we shall mimic Martin Luther King's legacy and turn this evil world neutral again by creating positive energy. Every human must understand every 13 aspects of life to unlock your real human abilities. 
I, Jalen Hargrove, son of Adam, and great grandson of Jesus, swear to put nothing but great energy to the people to make the world neutral again. All humans had the power to heal themselves through positive strengths that charge every living part of your body with natural positive energy. There is no specific medicine to cure mental pain. Pain is not natural. Pain comes from humanly decisions affecting every part of your body in a negative way. Having natural good energy and character will help America be great again. Although weed is a natural plant from God, it will only cure your pain when you learn to forgive and forget. The reason I hide my conditions are because the constant voices of God and the devil are telling me exactly what I want to do. I learned that love and loyalty are never through words, but through positive reaction and negative reaction, stemming through your only humanly intuition. I adapt to regular humans by understanding every trait known by man. You can be labeled an ultra-human if you constantly fight for what you believe in. The voices in my head tell me to follow my good intuition. Due to increased sense of good anxiety and bad anxiety for my three mental health conditions to spread love and generosity to all creatures on earth brought the land by God. Humans were brought to earth to protect and serve. I found the last bit of my research by healing from my pain and piecing every missing puzzle in my life to mentally cure myself. The final key to life is learning to forget and find love through Jesus. Life is a game. Solve it and your soul forever be immortal. What, 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 what brought you to writing this for us? In a psych ward, it, it was like God in my brain hmm. telling me to do nothing but good. And I, and I think I found a key to humanity, maybe. Did you feel like... So, that's, so that is what you would call your key to humanity? Yeah, I mean, it is. It, it is. It is. It has. It has a lot of. It has a lot of morals in there that we should live by, definitely. And I like how I like how the last part you said that you did your last bit of research on, you know, just from your own pain and your own things, and I feel like that's the best type of research to have is your own experiences. You know what I mean? Yeah. How talk about? Let's talk about you. Your, your big thing in this in this thing was mental health. Talk about, like, why do you think it's important for us to, you know, worry about that? You know, niggas don't worry about that stuff. It's important to focus on mental health because mental health is what controls your body. Like, if you're not right in the head, your leg's not going to move right, your thinking ain't going to be straight, Hell you're not yeah. going to fight right, you're not going to get girls right. Why you think people become... Certain shit, you feel me? People become certain things because they lack in this in life. Okay. You can never lack nothing. You can only learn if you don't, if you good if you follow your good intuition and not your bad intuition. You can do nothing but learn when you when you a good person. How how do you expect for us the people to take your message? However you want to take it, I, I I mean I hope it changed the world. You know. I hope it changed the world. Okay, I believe in you. It was. It's. 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 I, I can't wait to play it back when I'm editing this, to really dive deep into it. You know, because you wasn't just saying I'm sorry, mama. I'm sorry, daddy. You know what I mean? Yeah, it ain't. It ain't a sob story. That's what I'm trying to tell the people. And it's just real. You take it how you take it. Shit. So from, from how do you think? What do, what do you have to say about mental health in, like, your industry with rappers? Shit. Your mental health ain't right. Your money ain't going to be right. The songs ain't going to be right because you're going to be talking about dumb ass shit. That's why niggas don't got no substance because their mental health ain't right. They only talk up and rap about the same thing. Okay. So mental health is very vital to life. Is there, is there, is there anything from reading that out and reading it out to the people right now and getting it off your chest, is there anything else that come, that just flow off the top of your head that you have to say to the people? Uh, 
That's the only thing. When I wrote this, this is all I wanted to get to the people. This is all I wanted to get to the people. How do you think this message and this thing that happened to you is going to impact your future, your next step forward? Shit, this is going to get me where I want to be. Where would you want to be? In heaven. Oh, shit. So you you moving on a bigger scale than everybody else. You're not worried about just having a number one album. I worry about having a number one dial in my bank account. That's what I'm worried about. I'm focused on that. I'm thinking about a million ways. Shit, I don't know what I want. I wake up and sell something. I can sell, nigga, I can sell a picture, nigga. You can sell a picture to a phone? Nigga, I can sell a phone to a nigga who want to buy a picture so a nigga won't buy an Instagram account. Oh my goodness. Let me think about that. Okay. It didn't make sense, but you found me. I just had to think about it. It's a metaphor. It's I had to I get it. I get it though. It's, I like the metaphor. I say that shit. That's, you put that on a t-shirt. You said you was in jail, right? No, I was in a psych ward. But I was put in a psych ward by dirty police. Who is this nigga? Huh? Who's this dirty cop you talking about? I don't know his name. Fuck him. Oh my god. Fuck all police. I don't like police. Stay away from him. Well, J Bug, as 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 I said before, and I'll gladly repeat myself. I'm happy to see where you are. I'm happy to see how you've grown. More specifically from the last time I seen you. Not even just talking about, oh, your song's harder. You know what I mean? Right. Um I'm still excited for you. Mm-hmm. I can't wait to see what is next. What is next? What's the next move? Oh, you hit you hit one of those on. You don't even know. That's that. I mean, that's good. That's the best part. It's a surprise. Are you not telling me? Like you keeping a secret from me or something? Shit. What's the secret? I don't know. That's why I was asking you. <laughs> it ain't no secret. Okay. Um. Anything else you want to say to the people? Are you ready to get out of here, nigga? Find love through God. That's all I got to say. Um, thank you. Um, I'll be excited to see your next move. And keep doing you. Congrat- I never got to say this in person. Congratulations for moving out. That's yeah. the biggest thing for us niggas. I got the fuck out. I had to. Shit. Get was, to- it, was it a move like I needed to? or was I had, it-, it was I had to. Like It was either... Let my mother, let let my people know where my mother find out. Let or 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 just go or is is even me staying in my mother house limiting my my life, or me just getting the fuck out there and see what life throw at me, and I chose that. Nigga, he, I'm 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 22. I'm nigga, I'm learning something from you. You gotta jump out there. Life short. Jump out there. Stop thinking about that shit. Jump out there. Just think. Just use your brain. Mental health. That's why I said mental health is key. Just jump out there. Like, say fuck that shit. If you fall, right? You going when you fall, you gonna learn. It's going. I would rather people fall than ball because as soon as you fall, you gonna learn not to fall for that reason. You feel me? Like you okay? You get your first apartment, can't pay the rent. Then you gonna learn when you get your next one on how to pay bills. It's all a process. Life is through struggle, pain, and rejoice and wisdom. How has been, how has been a J Bug? Because I would I would call it you you've broken from the cage. You know what I mean, how has that life experience be for you, having having this type of freedom? Like mean to have your own place. Shit. Eat what you want. Do what you want. Leave when you want. <laughs> Talk when you want. Not nah, really, because my girl don't like when I be talking too much. She be like, yo, shut up. I'm oh, like, my God. I'm like, damn, bae, all right, you got I still it. can't call her Mrs. Book. You call her, call her, call her boss. Call her, go, call her, call her, call her the big general. That's the her name. The big general. Okay, shout out to the big general. Um... How how has she been? How have she been reacting to what everything that's happened to you recently? 
She just be trying to keep my mind sane. That's all I got to say. She just want to keep my mind sane. Ain't nothing. She just trying to keep me sane. That's what she tried to do. She just... Ain't the, I think that's the job of every girl, every black girl with a nigga on earth. A real black girl. No, for real. No, fuck that. A real black woman. Wo- woman. No cap. Woman. woman. I said it wrong. I said it wrong. I'm sorry. Woman. But, um... Hopefully... These cameras will see our beautiful faces together one day again. That's the plan. That's the plan. Are you ready to say bye to the people? Bye. Hey, you heard it here. We signing out. One million dollar podcast. Thirty million dollar. Thirty million dollar podcast. Because we gonna get active. Hundred million dollar podcast, nigga. That's a billion how- dollar podcast, nigga. We ain't gonna go further than that, nigga. Billion? I don't even know how to count to three thousand and seventy. It's the, all right. Let's count to a billion. One, one, two, two three, three, four, five, five six, six, infinity. Damn, I ain't always. Huh. That's uh, what the podcast is. I don't is. care. I don't care. Um, we out of here. Thank you for tuning in. Say bye to everybody, J Book. Goodbye. We out. Boom. Wow. <laughs>